If you're still dabbing in 2017, please let me know in the comment section because that's something I need to know for my educational, uh, for some educational reasons. <laughs> I know, I'm just joking. Before we even start this video, welcome back to Mindsetters. And uh, the reason why I'm making this video, one of the reasons I'm making it is because of you, Steve. If you're actually watching this video, I just want to tell you that with this video, I'm also applying for a summer internship at Social Chain. I will get in touch with Katie by email, but I also want to tell you that this is my creative way of actually applying for a job at the social chain and I really hope you stay till the end of this video because I think you you might actually learn something from watching this video as well. So stay tuned. Anyway guys, welcome back to my setters, it's your boy INT and it's been a while. It's not only gonna, this video is not gonna be about my hair or about anything related to fashion or whatsoever, this is going to be an educational and inspirational video for aspiring content creators such as YouTubers and even entrepreneurs who wants to like build their own companies no matter the size of the company. So I personally have been heavily involved in the entrepreneurial community in the north of uh, England uh, for the past three years and uh, I've seen so many people with like real huge ambitions who really wants to make it big when it comes to starting a company you know when it comes to the startup things they really want to get leverage the company and get on the top as quick as possible so one thing you realize with these people even friends of mine from my old uh, society the Masters of Premier Society I could quickly tell that these people are wasting a lot of time you know reading books about how to become successful watching videos about how to become successful and you know, watching YouTubers, especially, uh, you know, special entrepreneurs, successful entrepreneurs, on like just watching the journey and how they became successful. So if you ask me, I think it's a very good thing that you actually that you know what kind of uh, challenges these people are meeting on a daily basis or, or a regular basis. You know what I mean? But you know, putting yourself in this bubble of just watching successful people doing successful stuff is that actually beneficial to your own development are you actually gonna prosper like for real gee are you gonna prosper if you keep just watching other successful people getting even more successful okay let's just let's just take this scenario um, Steve Bartlett I think I'm gonna be honest um, I I found out about Steve Bartlett before he even blew up uh, as a Public, public person, before I even blew up as a public person. I found out about Steve Bartlett in 2014. Uh, in 2014, that's when I found out about you, Steve Bartlett, and literally no one knew about him, but I was the one like, but I was I was going around to tell people that there's a young entrepreneur in Manchester. His name is Steve Bartlett, and I think he's, I don't know exactly what he's doing, but he, somehow, he managed to engage, not thousands, but actually millions of people on social media. I don't know how he's doing it, but I think he has a company and that's the job, This is that's the service they're offering to, to big companies and I think it's it's very interesting, I think a lot of companies are actually paying for his services so I started investigating him, I was, I was talking about I was talking about Steve Bartlett to people but no one knew about him and uh, I, I think he, still, he even had ballpark uh, running at this point uh, so I remember I was I was young, um, I wanted to get some tips tried to get in touch with him uh, to various social platforms. Even to this day, I'm still trying to get in touch with him, but I never managed to actually do it. That's the reason I'm making this video. So Steve Bartlett had an amazing journey, all right? From just going to the university, next to my university, he dropped out, uh, he started grinding like crazy. He was grinding like a Yes, he was grinding like a He was grinding really, really hard. And uh, as you can see, he he started like slowly, slowly building up this big marketing agency that is running today, and it took him quite a lot of uh, you know emails, uh, pitching uh, with investors, uh, and traveling, and uh, sleepless nights to get into that position. And I don't think he was watching; he was probably doing it like everyone else, watching motivational videos on and how to become more successful. But I don't think he was wasting his time. 
watching them on a regular, on a daily basis, let's say on a daily basis, he wasn't doing that. And that's exactly what you guys are doing. Let's just have a quick look on his Wikipedia and uh, on the internet. What well, the internet gives you this information, Stephen Bartlett is a British entrepreneur, investor, public speaker and internet personality. He, he's also the CEO of influencer marketing agency, Social Chain. All right. He received the Lois TSB Young Entrepreneur of the Year Award in 2013 for his success in creating a web-based platform aimed at students. This is what we're talking about. Anyway, we're not going to go into deep details about Steve's, uh, about, uh, Steve's achievements. But what, what we can see here is that he's born 26 August 1992. So this guy is still young, but he, he, he actually realized that he can't waste his time just, you know, fooling around, watching videos on YouTube and then going to sleep and then do the same the following day and then just keep doing this on a regular basis. He was actually out there doing stuff, you know, grinding, grinding really hard, focusing on his own craft, you know. Try uh, learning more about your craft. If you're a good seller, try investing more time in improving your, your, your sales technique, in becoming, in becoming better at, at closing deals, for example. Try getting better at this stuff instead of just watching how a successful person is living life because that's not beneficial at all to you if you keep doing this on a regular basis. It's quite good to watch this kind of stuff from time to time to just get pumped up, you know, get gassed up. But like, if you keep doing this on a regular basis, fun, please, come on. Anyway, so Steve built this huge company and uh, it just he, he just started blowing up as a personality as well. Uh, you, you can tell from his IG, I think I was following his Instagram when he had like around 2,000 followers. Not a lot of followers, that was a long time ago. I was following him. And today, let's just check real quick again, Stephen Bartlett. And yes, today, do you know how many followers your boy, your boy gets on Instagram? He got 67k followers on Instagram, so from 4k to 67k, he's done something here. Okay, let's do something else. If you go on his YouTube channel, I was one of the first people to subscribe to his channel. At uh, I think it was like 200 subscribers, I was there subscribing. And today, let's see how many subscribers Steve got on YouTube. 11,714 subscribers for the CEO of a marketing agency. And this just happened in the course of a couple of months. Guys, I don't know if you if you stop thinking. There's something you're doing wrong here. So this guy, he came from 600, 200 subscribers, something like that, just a few months ago, to 11k subscribers, almost 12k now, in a few months. That's because his his content is dope as quality content, and he's grabbing your attention. Like everything is so good. Like the thumbnails is good, the the banner on his YouTube channel is crazy. Uh, he's he's actually quite good at you know speaking. Uh, we can just give you one example from one of his, one of his vlogs. I'm just gonna take a random vlog. Hello. Hi, that's Steve. It is. Can you hear me? And you've uh, you've just got back from Berlin today, have you? Yes. L literally just landed and came to the office. So. So Steve Bartlett from Social Chain. What are you excited about right now? There is a lot I'm excited about right now and it would be quite hard to go through everything. I think um, fortunately every day that I come into work I'm, I'm quite naturally excited. I've just become a vlogger so I'm vlogging myself every single day. This, uh, this uh, interview as well, this podcast is being um, vlogged as we speak as well. So that's been exciting to watch because it's given me a platform to reach more young people who are on a similar journey to the one that I was on when I was 18. And yes, this is, this is, this is dope. It's, it's cool. Like you can see how he's actually living life and uh, it's not just a normal vlog it's not just like so his titles i'm not saying it's clickbait titles this is good titles he's actually talking about this kind of stuff like how to create a vlog every day uh, how to grow your business uh what does it take to be an entrepreneur how to be disruptive etc etc he's actually talking about this stuff every day and i really appreciate that because sometimes i'm i'm, I'm lacking i'm lacking you know uh, I'm, I'm, lack, I'm lacking knowledge or, you know, have even, I, I don't even have a clue about certain of this stuff, so I'm just watch his videos. I watch a, few, a couple of his videos to just try and get his perspective. Some people are actually watching every day. They're there to just boom, 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 comment first, 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 first. 
I love you, Lord. So I watch him every day. Blah 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 blah. Well done. But what about your life? You need to work on your life as well. I keep repeating myself a lot. So yeah. Anyway, so the last thing I want to show you about Steve Butler as well and on how he actually got his attention from you guys is if you go on his Facebook page as well. He has a Facebook page, um, a public Facebook page, where he's also doing this uh, similar stuff, you know, uploading uh, short videos and, you know, uploading content. And uh, he, he got a lot of people actually watching this content on, on Facebook as well, which is real dope. He's also making these sponsored ads both on Instagram and on Facebook. See, by the way, subscribe to the channel and we get a free trip to New York with me. So, people, this guy is grinding the hell out of this channel. He's making himself a personal brand, just like Gary Vaynerchuk. It seems like he's having fun, but he's grinding. He's, he's working really, really hard. He's making... He's making himself... He's making... He's not, he's not, he's not, he's not satisfied with having this big company. He's also want to make his name as big as, I don't know, Gary, Gary Vaynerchuk because this guy went from 200 to 60, 11k subscribers in a few months, in just a few months uh, so my point is that watching YouTubers reading books and you know actually wanting to become an entrepreneur by you know and actually motivating himself to become an entrepreneur is, is a good thing to do occasionally but don't get into this habit of just watching videos uh, like because you know this guy is gonna be dropping a video at uh, let's say 9 p.m. every day you always there on your laptop 9 p.m. or your tablet to just watch this video I, I think that's a waste of time and you know try doing something about your life as well try finding your craft try grinding on your craft if you have a business plan a business idea talk to investors try setting it up set up meetings and just grind 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 and then you will eventually become a better content creator or entrepreneur in general because there's a lot of problems out there in this world that people need to solve and we shouldn't look at these problems as uh, something impossible to deal with problems are actual opportunities so look at these problems as opportunities as seize the opportunity and you know try to solve them and make it better and make this world a better place instead of just saying I made this app which is going to change the world try actually making this world a better place by focusing on your graft and solving big problems so yes guys, um, it's been a long video but I really hope you enjoyed it and for Steve if you watched it till the end or if you actually or if you jumped till the end uh, I really hope you enjoyed this video as well I really appreciate you as a person and uh, it would be really nice if you could at least uh, shoot me back an email or tell Kate to shoot me back an email so we can discuss some opportunities that's also changed this summer that will be really appreciated really appreciate it but anyway guys i'm gonna make more hair videos because we have some insane growth going on so this will be dropping probably before the end of this week and also check out my previous video on the nike atmos just a quick two minutes review of unboxing and reviewing the shoe from my homeboy it's not yes sir. so check it out if you like it like it if you don't like it if you don't like it also make sure you subscribe to the channel and you like this video and as usual, it's your boy INT on this. And I'll see you on the next one. Shashi Fata. Ole, JGD. Why is that great? Gage, let's go. Back on the line, Baka. In Baka. She ain't on top of what we're yelling. I want you to get up. Oh, Bunny, what you get up? Back on the line.